like the size of a car engine. Look how huge that is. Here, I'm... I pushed the Sears tractor back in. It's been about a month since I worked on it already. <laughs> but tried to pull this wheel off and nothing's happening. So I'm just going to cut it. Cut this wheel off, which this thing's pretty junk anyway. So we'll just have to replace this. Because I have to pull the wheel off to then remove this. And if you look, uh, you can't really... Oops. I can't hardly make it out, but that says lighter. These tractors came factory with a cigarette lighter right here where the switch was put in. So, but I'll probably put it back to that. So then you could plug something in and have 12 volts of power though. But I also picked these rear wheels up for it today for 25 bucks. So that is nice. I'm going to put new tires on it maybe. Uh, one of them, I guess, doesn't hold air, but biggest thing is we now have actual wheels instead of these trailer tires that I had to cut the actual tire off and just run this and I can't push it through the yard because it digs in and then it's incredibly difficult to move so now we have actual wheels and tires and next are the fronts I have to order new ones because you can see the stuff is just junk and that one is also junk the tire is not only bad but the wheel itself is rusted and just junk and the other one that looks like this has holes in it so it, there's no chance of it working ever but i'm gonna cut that and pull the wheel off got it so if you can see I had to cut this entire section off I had to cut it on both sides and whatever this thing is I did slice into that in a piece of rubber so no clue what that does oh geez hope it's just a spacer and I can replace it but yeah look I cut right into that keyway how good am I <laughs> but yeah that was not coming off maybe if I had penetrating oil which I need for everything. There's a brake rotor, you can't see it, but there's something under there that it's sitting with pressure on it and I don't have fluid, but to oil it up. Anyway, let's see if this comes off. Ugh. Yep. Where is it? There it is. Trash. Now I need a new steering wheel. Hopefully I can even find one. There it is. Now I actually need to take this stuff off. Okay, now I'm gonna unbolt this. All right, I just unbolted it. Hopefully it just pulls right off. Oh. All right, it's pretty gummed up, but I got it unbolted. It. I thought there was some stuff, so I started to clean behind it. I should have pressure washed it the whole power. Yeah, look at that. See, this is where I was scraping, trying to look for bolts. But I'm going to set this part outside.
front tires on, uh, the engine swapped. That's a Predator 212 that I put a flat top piston in. So it originally was six and a half horsepower. So maybe now it's like seven, seven and a half. I don't know, but I need a steering wheel. Oh, and I took that seat. That's off the V8 lawnmower, the original V8 mower. But the steering wheel was cut and finding a reproduction or replacement is they're kind of pretty expensive for what they are. But I found this in my shop. This is a three quarter inch, I don't know what, but it's got a keyway. So I'm going to slide it down over this. And then I found a steering wheel, which I sat on this. And with the crane, the seat is further forward. I looked on the internet, the back of the seat is usually behind the center line of the axle. So usually a couple inches back. So a smaller wheel will give me a little more room and it also works out because it's free because I already own it. So I just drilled that hole out bigger. It had a 5 8 inch hole in the center and I used this bit from Harbor Freight, this massive one, to drill it out so it fits this. Oh. So I'm just, I marked where it is. I'm gonna put one tack weld on it for now and just to move it around get the tractor where i need it and that should be good just for now all right it's just sitting there for now it's not pushed down all the way it doesn't look too weird but it does look kind of goofy i don't really like the look of it at all but i did one tack weld there and then i realized i was kind of a dummy because i could have hidden all the welding down here and it just would have looked clean so oh well it's a tractor it's gonna probably end up being left outside at some point even though it's been inside after i cleaned it all but i'm gonna push it outside and i think that's about it for it now the engine's not fully hooked up to be driven yet but i've been working on this thing for probably coming close to two months now so probably get this video out and at some point in life, maybe I'll finish it. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. But it came a long way from being in the junkyard and being lifted up. This thing was in a pile of junk and it was lifted up with a, I think it was a back or a loader bucket. And then it was just pushed into the bed of my truck, all junk. And that's where I got it. So it's now gonna have new life at some point. Just a little bit more work. That'll be it for this video, the first video of this. The next video will be coming out of the crane. I built this crane on it, and you'll see me build that whole thing on the back and all that good stuff, but take one last look at that thing. By the way, I'm naming this tractor Paul Bunyan. So <laughs> it just reminds me of Paul Bunyan, all the stories from a kid. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>